shouldn't really matter how people think of you. A lot of people don't think I'm wrong. <laughs> Maybe because of my really cheeky eyes. In certain, I never feel pressured, I guess, but it's not because, like, it's not because the pressure isn't there, it's just because I don't usually succumb to it. Some people do think I'm international. It shouldn't really matter how people think of you. I'm Bao Zhang, I am a fifth year senior, and my major is biology. I have a lovely mother and father with three older brothers and two younger sisters. One niece and a pit bull named Gizmo. <laughs> a lot of people don't think I'm wrong. <laughs> Maybe because of my really cheeky eyes. So I've had a Chinese person sp spoken like Chinese to me because they thought I was Chinese. And I'm not Chinese. But I'm Hmong, so I think a lot of people, like being here at UW Stevens Point, some people do think I'm international. And so, yeah, it's kind of weird, but I think it's kind of cool. But I'm Hmong, and, <laughs> and I love being Hmong, so I try to portray my Hmong culture a lot, too. My name is Kaya Hardy, and I am a senior, um, an English major with poli-sci and technical writing minors. I live with my mom and stepdad and I grew up with my three older brothers and my two younger brothers um, but they are actually my cousins and we adopted them. So five brothers in the house and then I have two stepbrothers and two stepsisters that live in a different state and they're all quite a bit older than us. So. And you're mixed, right? I am mixed, yes. <laughs> uh, so my dad is black and uh, Native American, a little bit, and my mom is like German and Irish and uh, that kind of Welsh mix. Most people, based on my appearance, assume I am uh, fully black, and it's actually interesting. I've noticed that if people ask me if I'm mixed, it's usually black people that notice that I'm I'm mixed, but um, most white people just assume I'm fully black. Um, growing up, I learned a lot of like Hmong, and so I didn't really know English, so English was my second language. But then as I learned more English, my Hmong went down, so like I spoke less Hmong. And I think, because I'm older now, and like a lot of our generation, we can't speak Hmong and we don't know much about culture, like a lot of the um, OGs, which is old generation, which is like your elders and your grandparents, your parents, they always stress that we should know Hmong culture and the language and everything. So I think that um, that does play a big role in my life because that is really true. Like I don't know much about Hmong culture because I was brought, I was brought up in like American culture. Okay, so I guess in certain, I never feel pressured, I guess, but it's not because like, it's not because the pressure isn't there, it's just because I don't usually succumb to it, but I think sometimes, um, like, I don't know, certain people, like, say, like, you're, you're like the whitest black person I know, or the, uh, different things like that, and it's just, it's kind of weird. It, it, in a sense, is being pressured to be a way that you aren't, because that's what people expect of you, and, um, so certain situations like that, I guess I felt pressure like that. Yeah, I think right now, like I'm more Hmong than American because I don't really define myself as American because I don't really think about it. Because when people do ask me, I always go straight, oh, I'm just Hmong. Like I don't say I'm Hmong American. When I was younger, I did kind of I don't want to say shun black culture, but like I always was wary of fulfilling stereotypes because I don't know, some of them are negative and I just didn't ever want to have that. Um, I didn't want people to put stereotypes on me, so sometimes I completely try to keep myself away from them. But uh, I don't know, sometimes it was negatively affecting. Like, I mean, it's something that 
Um, it shouldn't really matter how people think of you. Being in rural Wisconsin all the time, a lot of times I find myself being the only uh, person of color in a room, and sometimes, like, I don't know, in a history class if we're talking about slavery, or in an English class if we're talking about um, multicultural authors or, you know, uh, a certain outlook on, on a poem or a book, I feel people, like, shifting towards hearing what I have to say about it because it is a perspective. It is a different perspective, but it's awkward in the sense that being somebody who is very culturally white, uh, it's weird to be expected to have the perspective of somebody who's culturally black. And I feel like that happens, that happens when race is brought up in certain classes. So um, I feel like I forgot the question. <laughs> I look for the Asian check box and I check it off. I like, there are some applications where it says check as many as apply and I really appreciate those because it is kind of a weird situation to decide which race I'm going to represent that day. It shouldn't really matter how people think of you. As either way, I can never change who I am. I'm still Hmong in the end. A lot of people don't think I'm Hmong. <laughs> Maybe because of my really cheeky eyes. It shouldn't really matter how people think of you.